Top of the Nines Hotel, 15 floors up, right in Pioneer Square. Do Thank they you. make you put one of those hats over your hair, over uh, your high hawk? No, it stays in place. Ah, oh, <laughs> there you go. So you're from New York. You bring a very sophisticated palette to Departure. How did you change up the menu? Um, well, Departure, the basis premise is um, we're doing um, modern Asian food. Um, so we're playing um, with very contemporary kind of uh, methods, but uh, lots of traditional ingredients, kind of traditional styles. Um, we source um, some of our products from afar, but um, keeping in, in touch with Oregon, um, we're using lots of local ingredients, lots of local vegetables and meats, etc. So kind of a mix of um, a little bit of uh, both worlds to bring um, the diner a really um, interesting and um, special experience. Now, when you got into the game, did you ever stop to think that being a chef would be a competitive sport uh, someday? Definitely <laughs> not. I mean, I graduated from culinary school about 11 years ago, so it was definitely a different game back then. I That's know. Let's, let's pit them against <laughs> each other. Never mind that they have knives. Well, it's fun these days. Absolutely. Yeah. Food and Wine is looking for the best new chef, and you're one of those that they have uh, plucked from the Northwest. Yes, absolutely. Um, they uh, set up this contest. It's a very new contest. Um, they've hand-selected 100 chefs from, from around the country, and they've divided the country into 10 regions, and um, they've picked me to represent the Northwest. Well, and they had to, but they are. <laughs> if you win? And if I win, uh, I go on to represent the Northwest in a national competition, so it's very exciting. Well, the around. Northwest is really on a roll. <clears throat> Oh, as far yeah. as yeah, they love us. Exposure. They right. love it here. Totally. Yeah. I mean, there's so many great resources here. There's no reason not to love it here. Does the New York Times just have somebody embedded at your restaurant because there's a dispatch from there, like, uh, weekly? <laughs> no, definitely. <laughs> I was uh, with some friends over the weekend. They're all from New York, and they love Portland. Everyone loves Portland. So That's I'm great. really privileged to be here. It's great. As the slogan says, let the public, the dining public, be the judge so we can vote for Chef Gregory by going to uh, departureportland.com. That's Portland spelled out. P O R T L A N D. Yeah, just go to uh, departureportland.com, our restaurant website, and follow the link and uh, vote for me, and I'll be your most, uh, most special uh, new chef from the Northwest. The most special new <laughs> chef working at the most photogenic place in Portland, one of my favorite restaurants. Thanks a lot for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Absolutely. Okay. Um, for you guys to enjoy this morning, we have roasted pork buns with hoisin, chili, and garlic. Mm. We have um, one of my favorite dishes, very traditional chili prawns dish with candied walnuts. That is Hearts amazing. Hearts of palm. Um, really spicy, really tender shrimp. Really good. Um, we have our nice, really bright, fresh carrot and avocado salad with um, some spicy cucumbers. Mm, beautiful. Little croutons for crunch. And to finish off, we have our Indonesian chicken with um, really crispy, delicious charred skin, orange dates, and galangal. Yeah. Put some fresh cilantro. Cilantro. Mm -hmm. Makes anything great. It's really bright and fresh. Yes. So, given that at departure you're really encouraged to use your chopsticks, Dave's going to be in a hell of a lot of trouble. Here. Oh, you want to know something? I'll, I'll take you down. I'll take you down with chopsticks. Chops, chopsticks. I'll bring you down to China. The chopstick down. challenge? Yeah, it's on. You ready? Get that camera. Mm -hmm. My God, those baby carrots are so pretty. Yeah, they're really delicious and Do you guys sweet. source those from local farmers? Oh, absolutely. Oh, is that yeah. avocado? Absolutely. Oh, look absolutely. at that. Outstanding. Wow, that's pretty. That is a great combination. Yeah, there. give Dave so a few of those chili got, peppers. You've got the nuts for crunch. Mm -hmm. Nuts for crunch, the, the shrimp are tender, the chilies for heat. Um, oh. If you like really spicy, you can eat that, but I probably don't see seeing that. It's kind of there for just for the flavor and the aromatics of it. <clears throat> now, when would your appetite cook in for a meal like this? Uh, something like this? Yeah. Uh, this is definitely like something midday for me. Yeah. <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> yeah. yeah. Just being a chef on your feet all day, you kind of skip around meals. But these are definitely some of my favorite dishes we serve at the restaurant, so I hope you enjoy them. Wow, it's such a pretty plate. It really is. <clears throat> presentation, it's all about the presentation. What do you think of these reality TV shows that you see, where the chef comes in and he's just totally rude and he berates the people, <laughs> makes them feel like small little ants? Um, I haven't I used the chopsticks. That chopstick kind of culture kind of really exists. Yeah, a lot of kitchens. Really? A lot of the older kitchens. Seriously? Yeah, I mean, I definitely wow. had, went through that back in the day. I'm not like that, but definitely I know some. All right, you ready to see some chopstick there action? Prepare to be dazzled, Sheila. <laughs> I love a nap. Are you getting? <laughs> okay, uh, baby, let's start it. Let's see. <laughs> oh, this looks great. Oh, my gosh, this is so pretty. So the shrimp, then, is a... Uh... Chili prawns. Um, we have a huge wok station in, at departure, so nice high heat temperature cooking, mm. a little hoisin, a little chili, a little sesame oil. Mm. Mm -hmm. 
chicken. Um, we have uh, cooked sous vide, which is a oh cooked sauce. Oh my god, I want all this tender. for lunch. Ooh, the heat. Mm -hmm. The heat. Mm -hmm. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, everybody. Yeah, we keep things a little spicy at departure. Definitely. And you should. That's now a very good thing. Now this little thing here, this little bun. Yeah. How do you make this? Because uh, it looks like something stuffed inside it. Yes, yes. We've um, we've roasted some pork. We've reseasoned it with some uh, garlic, some ginger. Beautiful. We've made um, a really basic dough and let it rise and get nice and fluffy, and then we filled it and we've steamed it and roasted it. Oh, so gorgeous. Yeah. So this is pork here. Oh, it's chicken. It's chicken. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is so tender. Enjoy. Tastes like lobster. <laughs> <laughs> that is very, very well Chef done. Chef you are the man. This is the best we've ever eaten at this hour, that's for sure, huh? I'm already standing. Standing ovation. <laughs> Welcome to Portland. Thank you so much.